today video i'm going to show you how to separate chicks or offset from echeveria glauca i have chosen glauca because it can be a little bit tricky to take these off without damaging them or damaging the plant um, as opposed to for instance a sempervivum like this where you already have a nice long stalk that can be just broken and the offset is pretty much ready to go in the potting mix so the first step with a plant like this is to take it out of the pot it is just that little bit easier to take the offsets um, it is also best to start with the biggest one you can find um, we'll start with this one over here so you can see there is a little bit of a stalk there which always helps if there's no stalk you might just pull the leaves off and ruin the whole chick um, so to take it off you just need to pull a little to the side and then the other way until you can grab it from both ends and just pull okay so chick number one you've got a little root there as well so that's great um chick number one taken off okay now this one is just a tiny little bit too small to be taken off um i will wait another couple of weeks for that one to go um let's see this one looks pretty good so sometimes you might be pulling on the leaves of another chick so just um try and establish what is what um and which leaves belong to which chick so here we've got another one off nice and big and now this one can come off cleanly as well now you don't have to take the chicks off um, if you leave them on the mother plant you'll just get a nice big clump of blue rosettes um, but they will need a bigger pot every year just so they've got enough space to grow this one's quite nice as well um, and then once you have a few of it is pretty easy and this one is quite small but it's got a nice stalk that you'll be able to put in the potting mix so i'm going to take it off and i'm going to pretty much take off all of them yep and we've got an We've got a nice little crested one here as well, which is quite special. So take that one off. Now this is going to be pampered. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It, cresting does not happen very often with Glaucas. Um, so I'm quite pleased to see that. All right. We only have a few left, so I'm just going to take them all off. They've got decent stalks um, and they will root, so it's okay. It's entirely up to you. You can leave a few on if you think they're still too small. I'm going to plant these two together. And then we've got the last one. Um, when you're doing this, it's also a good idea to take off all these dried up leaves. Um, it's fairly normal for succulents um, to drop their bottom leaves, especially when they're growing chicks, so it's nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, take these off. Check for mealybugs as well, as they like to hide in this dead foliage. Okay, pop that in. Okay, and I'm going to pop this back into the pot and keep this little plant a bigger pot later on okay so now we've got our chicks the next step is to dry them so they need to be dried for about 24 hours um, it will prevent rotting and infections going into the wound where you pull them off um, after 24 hours they can go 
into pots, individual pots, just like, or trays, just like I've got here. Um, these plants are about three to four months old. They already have chicks of their own. Um, but yeah, it happens fairly quickly, quick, quickly with the glauca. Um, the best time to do this is at the end of spring, um, just because the weather is still fairly mild. Um, glaucas do not like the heat, so when it's 40 degrees um, Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit, they really don't grow very well in those kind of temperatures. Mid to late spring is the best time for them to grow. Um, so after they have dried, um, it would be best to put them under a shade cloth or in a shaded but a bright area. They can't be kept indoors. Um, it's just not a very good place for rosetti succulents like Equivirias. Um, you'll get stretching plants and it's just that they, they'll eventually die. Um, so um, if you don't have a shade cloth then a veranda or a balcony will be just fine. Um, it is best to keep them out of full sun as well um, the chicks are slightly vulnerable when they're this young um, they can be reintroduced to sun once they've got roots of their own okay um, i hope you found this video useful um, for more information about growing succulents from offsets go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com thank you